In this lecture, I am going to show you a real-time library management system which I have developed on code.org using the basic features of AppLab. Now, if uh, the person is a librarian, how can he access the admin panel? For that, he just have to hit this first screen and automatically he's going to get redirected on this beautiful panel. Okay. Now, if it is a user who want to check out the books which are there in the library, what he can do, he can create his profile on this platform and then he can check out all the books uh, in the library. After that, he can also issue the books if he want to do so. So let's create a profile on this platform first. I'm going to upload a pic first using this photo select button which is present right on the first uh, screen of this app so I'm going to select a pic from uh, the desktop for now I am selecting this pic and here I am going to enter my name so Gaurav I am entering over here and over here let's hit the sign up button and register this profile your profile has been successfully created Okay, so the profile has been successfully created. Now I am going to log in into my dashboard. So uh, this is the password. Let's hit this login button. Is, Here is your dashboard. You okay, may use it. Okay, so this is my dashboard. And here everything is getting reflected right on the top. My name, my email address and the pic which I uploaded while creating my profile. Right. Uh, let's now select a subject from this drop down. So as you can see there are a couple of subjects which are available to us over here in this drop down. I am selecting history for now. Let's see what is going to happen. So automatically uh, the books uh, which are available in the library uh, they are going to get reflected over here in the form of images. Now if I want to see more books what I can do I can hit this button over here. And this is the animated gallery kind of thing which I have defined in this app. So as you can see, the books are changing. Right. So that's how you can uh, check out all the books of history which are there in the library. Okay. How can we issue any book? What he can do, he can hit this image. Automatically the book's name is going to come over here like this. So it is saved with this name in the library, h-2.png. Now the user has to check its availability, whether it is available or not in the library. So for that, what he can do, he can hit this check availability uh, button over here. Please wait. We are checking the availability of this book. Okay, so this book is available with us. So this book is you may get it issued. So this book is available as you can see. And now let's uh, hit this issue book button. This person, this person has, requested has requested for issuing, issuing a book, a book to, him. to him. Okay, so this librarian has got a notification on his panel uh, about this book and you know my ID and this code is getting reflected over here. This is a code which is going to get generated automatically when the user will log in into his dashboard. So now the librarian is going to issue the book to me and how can she do that? She just have to hit this image of the book over here. Thanks for issuing the book. Your request have been accepted. Book is issued to you. Okay, as you can see, the librarian has successfully issued the book to me. Okay, now let's come on this panel and create one more profile. Hit this sign up button and register Nevi's profile on this platform. Your profile has been successfully created. Okay, so the profile has been successfully created. Now we can log in into Nevi's dashboard. Here is your dashboard. You may use it. 
Okay, so this is Navy's dashboard. Now from here, I am going to select a subject. Uh, I'm selecting history again. And as you can see, the books are getting reflected over here on Navy's panel. Let's hit this button and check out whether we'll be able to uh, see all the books available in the library or not. So, you know, this is a very beautiful uh, gallery which I have designed using time loop block available in the app lab. So, uh, let's select this book. Okay, let's see whether we'll be able to issue this book or not using Nevi's panel. So, I'm done with selecting this book. Let's hit this uh, button for checking out whether it is available in the library or not. This book is already issued to someone. Okay, so as you heard, this book is already issued to someone. So we cannot issue this book. Uh, let's see whether we can issue some other history book or not using Nevi's panel. So let's select this one. And I'm going to check the availability of this book first. Please wait. We are checking the availability of this book. Okay. This book is available with us. You so, may get it issued. Oh, so this book is available in the library. I can get it issued. Let's do that. Let's hit this issue book button. This person has, this requested, person has requested, requested for issuing, issuing a book, book to him. him. So as you can see, librarian has got a notification on her respective panel. Now let's hit this beautiful button over here and issue the book to Nevi. Thanks for issuing the book. Your request have been accepted. Book is issued to you. Okay, so the book is issued to Nevi successfully by this librarian. So that's how this whole library management system works. Now let's check out the code which I have defined over here on this code.org platform for developing, for making this beautiful, beautiful library management system. So I'm going to come on this image 10 first. It is over here on this screen, on this screen three. So this is a sign up screen. Now, if uh, the person is a librarian or you want to access or, or if anyone want to access the admin panel, he can just hit this image 10 over here and automatically he's going to get redirected on this beautiful uh, admin panel. Fine. Initially, uh, these three elements will not be visible to that user just because uh, we I have defined hide element property for all these three components over here. If the person is a user, so he has to first create his profile on this platform. So this is the code which I have defined for this sign up button over here. When the user after uploading his profile and mentioning everything in these components will hit this sign up button automatically. This is the code which is going to get executed. So a table uh, with name teachers is going to get created where all the information of the user will get saved. And after that, he is going to get redirected on this sign in screen where he will be asked to sign in into this app using the credentials with which he created his profile. So this is a code which I have defined for this login button over here. When the user will hit this login button, this is the code which will get executed. And finally, he is going to get redirected on this beautiful screen too, where he will get to see his profile visible right on the top. So whatever pick he has uploaded and his name, his email and an automatically generated code will be visible to the user right on the top. Now there is a button with name sign in. So with this, I have connected this screen to screen four with screen three. This is up sign. So when the user will hit this up sign button, he's going to get redirected on this sign up screen. And if he will hit this sign in button, he will get redirected on this sign in screen. So that's how I have connected both the screens with each other. 
okay let's now come on this code which i've defined for this uh, button id of which is code d so this is the one when the user will hit this button this is the code which is going to get executed so this code is going to check whether this uh, the book which the user has selected is it is it there in the library available or not if it is not available then uh, he will get to see not available image over here and if it is available definitely he will get to see available image over here as I showed you right in the beginning of this lecture okay now comes the code which I've defined for these three image buttons so if the user will hit this image 4 button this is a code which will get executed so the label 5 is going to get filled up with the ID of the image which will be there in this image 4 button similarly if he will hit this image 2 button automatically this label 5 is going to reflect the id of that image which is uh, there on this image 2 button and the same code i have defined for this image 5 button also then there uh, this is a code which i have defined for this button the id of which is checking so when the user will hit this checking button it will go disappear then it is a code which I've defined for this issue button over here. So uh, a table with name book is going to get created where everything uh, related to the book and the user's code and email ID is going to get saved. And finally, uh, this code is going to get automatically executed by the compiler uh, because of which the librarian will get a notification on her panel fine and he will get to see all things the photo of the uh, book which the user want to get issued besides the code of the user and his email address also right let's now come down and check out the code which i have made which i have defined for this photo button over here so when the librarian will hit this photo button this is the code which is going to get executed and automatically the user who has requested for issuing a book is going to get a notification on his panel that the book has been successfully issued by the librarian to him right let's now come down and check out the code i have made use of for this drop down over here so when the user will hit this drop down one whatever subjects there are in this subjects named table they are going to get reflected in this drop down and the user will then select the subject the books of which he would like to search in the library okay so this is a code which is uh, going to get executed once the user is done with making the required selection in this drop down let's now come down and check out the code which i have defined for this image 8 button so the image 8 button is uh, right over here. So this is going to help us in checking out all the books. So the, with the help of this image 8 button, with the help of this code which you're seeing over here, I have defined, I, I'm I was successful in defining a gallery kind of thing over here. So when the user will hit this image 8 button, automatically uh, this will move to... Uh, the position where this image 4 is at present and this image 5 will uh, move to the position where this image 2 is at present and the image 4 is going to come on this image 5 position okay so that's how that's the code which i have made use of for defining this beautiful gallery which i showed you right in the beginning let me just show it to you once again so this is the one which i'm talking about when the user will hit this button over here so this is the gallery kind of thing which he will get to see and you know he will be able to uh, navigate through the books whatever books are there related to the subject available in the library okay let's now come back on this coding section this whole code is for the gallery view okay and finally finally when the 
value of y will become equal to equal to 8. So this is a counter variable which I have defined for controlling the view of the gallery. So when it will become equal to equal to 8, then the value of y will again change to 1. So, so that we can see the books which were getting reflected initially when the user came on this panel again on these three image buttons. So that's how I have developed this beautiful library management system on code.org. Hope you guys enjoyed this lecture a lot. Do like and subscribe to the channel and also in case you want to avail the coding classes facility, you guys are most welcome to contact me on my phone number that is 9891665634 and get yourself registered for the fresh batches going to start from 1st of April 2021. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.